Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. I want to start off this video by wishing everyone a happy and safe and peaceful holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Uh, more importantly, try not to stress yourself out, stress other people out. Uh, be safe, stay away from road rage. Uh, just, you know, try to enjoy the season. Don't let yourself get tied up in stressing it out, man. It ain't worth it. Relax, relax. I want to give a good uh, shout out to a couple of my newest Patreon members, Pal, uh, Max, and Noah. Appreciate your support, your help, and uh, going in that Patreon site lets me know that you're, you're in it uh, for the long haul. You appreciate what you've seen in the past, and, and you want to help me out. I appreciate that for showing your appreciation. Also, Rudy for a PayPal donation. Thank you very much. I appreciate the help, especially in this holiday season. Man, you know, I don't have a shop. Some people think I got a shop. I don't. I don't uh, work really outside of the home. Every once in a while, I'll tinker with somebody's car. Uh, YouTube channels is, is basically it. So I do appreciate your financial support tremendously. You know, I took Diane to the dentist the other day. Good Lord. They quoted me $1,800 for half a tooth. Half a tooth. I say half because the tooth had already had a root canal. So all they had to do was clean up a little bit, put a cap on it, $1,800. My uh, dental insurance dropped us because they said that they don't insure people in New Mexico. I've been getting services through them for, uh, you know, for almost four years being in New Mexico and all of a sudden they dropped me they don't support New Mexico so anyway I did that you know I'm thinking after they do this work basically a three thousand dollar tooth after what they're doing now in the root canal from before is there a warranty on dental work I mean really they fix a tooth like a year later and if something happens is that covered well we need to check with FCP See if they uh, do dental work. That that would help. I also want to give a shout out and thanks to a couple of Patreon members I no longer have. Um, I, the month or two that you did support me, thank you. I do appreciate it. You know, uh, most people that are subscribed to my channel sub subscribed because I helped them out of a tight situation. You know, things were tough maybe finances was bad maybe they were trying to get something done found my video was so excited about the help they subscribed I do say uh, like share and subscribe so uh, those people may not need help often so they unsubscribe so I lose subscribers from my YouTube channel every month and you know it's kind of like I kind of look at it like hey when people need help they love it especially when it's free so, uh, kind of like a Superman scenario, you know, crime is bad, streets are unsafe, people are getting robbed, so, man, they want the police there, they want Superman to show up, Superman, where are you, get over here, once the streets are safe, flowers are growing, street lights are on, Superman, buy your own coffee, man, we don't need you, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand, you know, no big deal. Just part of it. Now for a little update uh, on Red Baron. I'm, I can't remember if I already shared this information or not. However, Red Baron has a bad engine. Blown head gasket. So I pulled an engine out of the salvage yard out of a uh, 06 T5 S60. We're going to be putting that in Red Baron instead of in storage for possible use for Panther later. Uh, the people that looked at the body has not contacted me again. I guess they don't want the job of trying to fix this hail damage. 
So I'm going to have to take the car around and get some hail damage estimates along with body repair and uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I have decided to go all in on Red Baron. Hopefully I won't lose too much money. Uh, probably won't get all my labor back but that's fine. So on my website I'm going to put up a list of stuff that's wrong with Red Baron kind of on my wish list page if people want to donate to the restoration of it they can somebody else is going to end up driving it because i don't i don't need another car and i don't want but i did want to save this red r those are getting harder to find these cars are getting more respect from people out there on the uh, internet they're getting incredible youtube uh, uh, videos made about them and i think if uh, we people that own them would start attending car shows and at least keeping the entry form from attending the car show we'll start getting our money out of them in case somebody broadsides you know nothing worse than having a car you got ten twenty thousand dollars into and somebody broadside in the car i know queen b i'm close to fifteen thousand into that panther not as much but if i added it up over the years panther probably have about I don't know, seven, eight thousand into it and and hard expenses and you know, parts, turbo, transmission, all of that kind of stuff and then God knows what kind of labor. Not as labor intensive as some, but hey, when you tinkering on the car you're putting labor into it. Again, uh because I have decided to go all in on the Red Baron here, there's a few things that I'ma need some help with because I cannot find the parts locally right now. I'm actually going to put in the manual transmission uh, because the auto's bad. So I need the pedals out of the 850 manual. We don't have any in our junkyard right now. I actually sold uh, two sets of those pedals that uh, someone needed uh, for their vehicle. Uh, trying to help them out let them have the two that I have so if you know of a junkyard or a vehicle near you or you have a 850 uh, with the manual transmission that you're about to scrap I do need those three pedals actually I think it's the two pedals the brake and the clutch pedal uh, my video shows you how to get that out I'd appreciate help with that I need a small piece of the exhaust on an 850 turbo and the 98 maybe through 2000 turbo vehicle after the cat about a foot after that there's a joint you take off the clamp you can take off the exhaust from behind the cat forward uh, most junkyards cut the cat out and they leave that piece of pipe connected to that piece with the clamp I need that small piece of pipe. It's got like a little round end on it where that clamp, that Volvo clamp clamps it on. I need that piece of pipe, be it a foot, six, seven inches of it before that uh, tailpipe forward to where the cap would go. So if you have access to a salvage yard, you see there's a turbo 850 S or V70 in there and that piece is hanging on that exhaust under the armrest almost please grab that send it to me i'll pay you for it thank you very much another thing that i'm probably going to do is put a k24 back on it uh, the engine that i have the exhaust manifold the k24 the water pipe and the uh, coolant boxes off the engine for some reason so if you have access to uh, or have a K24 I think I have a lead on one I'm going to have to probably send it out to my turbo guy to make sure it's in good shape but I'm probably going to put a K24 I need that I need the water pipe off the back of that engine that goes with that K24 the engine is a 5244 
if uh, it comes on uh, S80s, uh, S60Rs, um, that water pipe, I do need that water pipe, so have access to one of those. And I may need the down pipe that goes from uh, the turbo down to under the car. I don't uh, know, or, or I may need to get a down pipe, but I do need that down pipe off of that engine as well. So those are a few things I know I need right now that I don't seem to have access to here. So if you got access to that stuff, let me know, help me out. I really would appreciate it. So I'm going all in on Red Baron. Should have some good videos. I'm uh, again listing all the stuff that I'm gonna do to it on my website. I'll make a Red Baron page and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Occasionally, occasionally, I'll get a message from somebody wanting to know what they can do to make their NA naturally aspirated non-turbo Volvo uh, perform better. When people say that, I assume they mean go faster. The very best thing you could do to make your car faster is to sell it and buy a turbo car. Uh, you know, these engines are tweaked to perform as well as they're going to, and you're just not going to make one of these non-turbo 850s fast. It's just not going to happen. Now, there's always somebody that'll prove me wrong. You know, they'll spend three, four thousand dollars and six thousand man hours making it fast. Go ahead, man. You know, go right ahead. You could buy a nice turbo 850 for 2,500 bucks. You could buy a nice modded fast 850 anywhere from four to six thousand dollars. You could buy a decent R for three, four thousand dollars. Why would you want to do some extreme stuff to a non-turbo 850? Trying to make it half as fast or as fast as a turbo one. Just get a turbo one. You could buy a turbo 850 for four or five hundred bucks and fix what's wrong with it, be into it for twelve, fifteen hundred bucks hard cost. And have a nice fast turbo car. Why spend all that pain and grief and aggravation and you know, but hey, it's your ride, do what you want. Now, here's some performance mods you can make on that car to make it more enjoyable, but it'll never be as fast as a normal running turbo 850. Let's get started. Every performance person will agree that your suspension and performance is just as important as engine modification. So, number one, get some better tires. Number two, get some larger wheels. Number three, put some heavier duty suspension parts on there. You know, shocks that perform better like Coney's or Bilstein HD's. Get that car handling better. You could go around corners faster. That is performance. Another thing you could do is put some anti-sway bars on there from IPD. You know, so you could upgrade the brakes a little bit. So you got brakes, tires, larger wheels, uh, firmer shocks, anti-sway bars, that kind of stuff. Then you can make it look a little better. Find some things off of our vehicles or something like that put on the outside make it look a little sportier but really to make it a performance car you have to go extreme and I just think you're better off buying a turbo car than going extreme uh, my mechanic in uh, Kissimmee Florida told me Alan he said that uh, it's not too hard to put a turbo engine in the car now you really don't want to turbo or supercharge the current engine because that naturally aspired engine has high compression 
when you put a turbocharger on there or a supercharger, you're probably going to start blowing pistons because the uh, compression is naturally high. So if you, you don't want to do that. So you want to put an engine in there that could take those mods like a turbo. So you could drop a turbo engine in there. Uh, then if you do that, the wiring that's in the naturally aspirated vehicle isn't uh, made for uh, the turbo accessories. You got the turbo control valve. You have uh, a couple other things related to the turbo car that you will need to wire in. Uh, you got a turbo boost gauge you should have. You'll have to add a turbo, uh, the proper manifold for it. Uh, then if you want to go manual transmission, you'll do those modifications. But uh, then you'll need about, you know, about three things of wire in there. So, you know, swapping an engine with a turbo on there, just get another car. There's plenty of nice 850T5 cars out there or even the GLTs that are a lot quicker uh, than your naturally aspirated. Now, I will say this. Uh, a nice running NA850 with uh, a good strong engine, good strong transmission in it, properly tuned up parts, you know, off the line from 0 to 40. The turbo cars are not going to blow that thing away. Where your turbo kicks in and really uh, get the benefit of that is above 30. If we're rolling down the street going 30 or 40 or 50 miles an hour and you run across me and I punch it and you punch it, you're going to get left. But if we're sitting at a light and you punch it and I punch it, you know, uh, my untuned T5 is not going to smoke you going from 0 to 30. Once I hit up around 30 or so, that's when I'm going to start pulling away. So, you know, high speeds, those cars will roll high speeds. I know people that drove across the country 80, 90, 100 miles an hour in a non-turbo uh, five-cylinder engine car. It's just not going to get there real fast. You know, it is what it is. That's my take on uh, added performance mods. Now, one thing, oh, I almost forgot to say. The throttle body in the naturally aspirated car has this plastic puck on there. I've heard people say that you can get a throttle body plate from a 960 and put it on your 850 to help it get a little more air. And it'll cut down on the air restriction of that intake it'll make it a little more responsive. Not gonna really make it faster. It'll just feel a little faster, make it a little more responsive. So, swapping cams and all that, you know, man, just get a turbo car, really, you know. Or do your suspension stuff and your wheels and tires and enjoy it that way. But if you want a fast car, you're gonna have to buy a fast car, you know, whether it be an 850 or some other make, you know, these cars are not made for being fast not the NA models hope that helps okay I'm here with the Panther having some issues with tuning number one my boost is being limited to about 11 psi my goal was 15 number two I'm experiencing knock at uh, higher RPMs around 5,000 RPM so we're going to do a couple things Verify timing is set right with the special tool I made yesterday. Uh, if timing's off, I'm gonna reset that. Try again. If timing's on, I'm gonna try to clean some carbon off of the piston tops. I'm gonna do a water uh, steam bath for that. I'll show you how to do that. And number three, he's thinking 390,000 miles on the engine may have some vibrations in there that's giving off knock sensors uh air codes that it's rattling at higher pm i don't want to believe that but we'll see what happens i could also have an issue with having a stock intercooler 
So I'm probably going to order an intercooler soon from Snap. They have a, a, a intercooler tweak that they're getting ready to release. So if you want performance, you got a stock intercooler, you want to contact Snap, see if they can help you with that. And I'm running a stock cat. That cat may be reduce, reducing my exhaust flow. So that may be an issue too. Off by putting my crank right on the mark. Perfect. So I'm going to check the cams with my new tool. Make sure they're where they need to be. And we're going to go from there. Put my manufactured tool in place. It appears that my timing is right on. It retarded seven on that intake. And I got to check the exhaust for advance. It's supposed to be seven degrees on my advance on my exhaust. And it looks like I'm more like nine degrees. So I'm gonna dial that back three degrees or at least two degrees. And uh, hopefully that'll correct my exhaust time and then I'll do a pull see if it's knocking if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them again thank you very much for watching